This tutorial explains Scenario 3 of how to set up the Ethernet connection and IP parameters to use the amplifier's web interface. Please also refer to our checklist at kistler.com and the Quick Start Installation Manual. First, remove the protection cap and then connect the Ethernet cable. The amplifier is IP65 protected. We recommend a cable of at least the same protection class. As shown in the first video, we define three main scenarios to establish communication between your amplifier and computer. In Scenario 3, you want to use several amplifiers in a small local network using an Ethernet switch. This is especially suitable for onboard applications. Again, make sure only the network port dedicated to the amplifier is active. Disable any other. Then connect the Ethernet cable to your PC. Make sure that all amplifiers are set to the factory settings. Please refer to the procedure described in Scenario 1. Repeat it for each amplifier. As a result, all devices have the same IP address. Now assign the temporary IP address to your computer. The procedure is the same as in Scenario 1. We assume you have downloaded the IP Setup Wizard from the Kistler website. Following the same procedure as in Scenario 2, you will see that obviously all addresses end with 100. To access each of the amplifiers, you need to assign them new IP addresses. Again, you can also name them individually. Please note, in this case you must keep the mode at static IP. To assign the new addresses, keep the procedure simple and stick to the last three digits. Take 102, for instance, then 103 for the next, and so on. Repeat the process for each of your amplifiers. Shortcutting now, we assume you have noted all new addresses in a text file again to enter or copy-paste them into your web browser. It's convenient to open one web tab for each amplifier. Now you're ready to access all of them in your local or onboard network and manage them simultaneously. Access to the web interface allows you to benefit from a variety of new features. For additional information, refer to the Quick Start Installation Manual and our checklist at kistler.com.